Ever pondered upon the question, who was Christopher Columbus really and what led him to discover the New World? Born in the bustling port city of Genoa, Italy, Columbus's life was shaped by the sea from a young age. His father, a humble wool weaver, and his mother, Susanna Fontanarossa, were simple folk who lived a modest life. They had little inkling that their son would one day change the course of history. Columbus wasn't an only child, he had siblings who also played a part in his life's narrative. But it was the sea that captured young Columbus's heart. As a teenager, he left the comfort of his home to embark on a life of sailing. The call of the open water was irresistible, and the seeds of adventure were sown in his young heart. So a humble beginning set the stage for Columbus's intriguing life. But what was the driving force behind his legendary voyages? Christopher Columbus, a name synonymous with exploration, embarked on four significant voyages. But what were these expeditions all about? In the late 15th century, Columbus, driven by a relentless quest to find a water route west from Europe to Asia, set sail on his first voyage. Despite facing numerous hardships, he discovered the New World, landing in present-day Bahamas. His second voyage was a large-scale colonization effort, but it was marred by hardships and conflict with the indigenous population. His third voyage led him to the coast of South America, expanding the European understanding of the Western Hemisphere. However, this voyage also marked the beginning of his downfall, as he faced accusations of mismanagement. His final voyage was a desperate attempt to restore his reputation, leading to the discovery of Central America but failing to regain his lost prestige. Columbus's expeditions were not just journeys across the sea, but an exploration into the unknown that forever changed the course of history. Columbus has been celebrated for his voyages, but his fame is not without controversy. So, what exactly is the debate about? Christopher Columbus, an Italian explorer and navigator, embarked on four historic voyages across the Atlantic Ocean, sponsored by the Spanish monarchy. His explorations led to the first lasting European contact with the Americas, earning him a prominent place in history as the man who discovered the New World. Beyond discovery, Columbus's journeys ignited the Columbian Exchange, a period of cultural and biological exchanges between the Old and New Worlds. This exchange transformed economies, diets, and disease environments globally. Yet, Columbus's fame does not come without a shadow. His voyages paved the way for the widespread colonization and exploitation of the indigenous peoples of the Americas. His role in initiating the Atlantic slave trade and his brutal treatment of the native inhabitants have led to much criticism and controversy. Columbus's fame, thus, is a complex tapestry of exploration, discovery, and controversy. As with any historical figure, conspiracy theories about Columbus abound. So, what are these theories and how much truth do they hold? Dive into the realm of speculation and you'll find theories suggesting Columbus was a secret Jew, escaping the Spanish Inquisition. The idea hinges on hidden messages in his letters and his apparent knowledge of Hebrew. However, concrete proof remains elusive, making this theory more of an intriguing possibility than an established fact. Another popular theory posits that Columbus already knew about America before his first voyage. Evidence? Columbus's maps, supposedly drawn from ancient sources, hinting at a pre-existing knowledge of the New World. Yet this too lacks definitive evidence, leaving us with more questions than answers. As we sift through these theories, it's important to remember that the line between fact and fiction can often blur when dealing with historical figures. Columbus, an explorer shrouded in mystery, continues to ignite our curiosity and fascination, centuries after his voyages.